Hey guys, welcome back to Cirque du Soleil. Today's look is a mashup of Joker and Harley Quinn. I love it, I hope you do too. Jumping right in, we are gonna start with a fresh face, as always. We're gonna take a really light foundation. This is in the shade Fair from NYX Cosmetics. This is the Can't Stop, Won't Stop foundation. So here I'm just gonna conceal. I should've used a lighter one, but I couldn't find it. So I'm just gonna blend this out and uh, try to conceal it as much as possible. So for my eyebrows themselves, I thought that I was recording this part, but I guess I didn't. I just used some green face paint and I basically filled in my brows and then created this little curve here just to make my eyebrows look a little bit more mean. I'm going to use this black liquid lipstick. This one is from Makeup Revolution. I'm just going to place this on my lids and then take a dense brush and just start to blend that out as my base. Then using my Be Perfect Stacey Marie Carnival palette, I'm going to use the purples and the greens. Starting with the purple i'm just going to concentrate that on the outside so this portion here is to reflect the harley quinn makeup so i'm just going to drag that down my cheek and then blend that towards my crease as well and then i'm going to do the exact same thing on the green side so i just picked up that neon green and just started to blend that into my crease as well as drag it down my cheek I'm going to take the matte black eyeshadow from the same palette and I'm just going to pack that onto my lid, making sure that it's very opaque and then blending out my edges. And then I'm going to take this palette from Makeup Revolution in Rainbow and I'm going to just pack that silver shade right in the center of my lid as well as the bottom portion. Here I'm taking the ColourPop Body Glitters and I'm just going to start packing that on with a brush first and then blending it out with my hand. I'm just going to blow that out on both sides just to give us some dimension. We are going to take this green liner from ColourPop and I'm just going to place that in my waterline. And then I'm going to take a red lip liner and start to shape out my Joker mouth. But this is a more feminine one because I did want it to stay in the Harley Quinn aspect. So I just did a little bit of an extended corner and then I just filled everything in with a really bright red lipstick. Alright, so for this part, you can pretty much decide which Harley Quinn tattoos you want to place. I decided to go with the little heart on the cheek, and then instead of having rotten on the jawline, I went ahead and did the Joker. Um, obviously, I'm obsessed with the Joker, so I decided to just replace that and just bring the little Joker aspect back into the character. For the neck portion, I am going to do my signature two-toned piece here. So I'm just going to create it down the middle. I'm going to fill in one side with green, fill in the other side with purple. I'm just going to make sure everything's nice and even. And then outline everything with some black face paint. I'm just going to basically outline all of my little shapes and then add some vertical lines down the center. I did pop on my contact from Oh My Kitty For You. I then popped on my wig, which was a mess, and I had to style off camera. Put it into pigtails and put some little clips in it, and this pretty much concludes my Harley Quinn Joker. I pretty much love this look so, so much, so I hope that you guys too. If you happen to recreate any of my looks this spooky season, please be sure to tag me. I love to share your guys' work. Other than that, I will see you again in my next tutorial. It's going to be a good one. Love you guys. Ciao.